Hi, Virgo Virg. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Virgo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personal with me. Sending you guys a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other um, social media platforms, okay? So let's see what's going on, Virgo. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the sender. Block any interferences that can be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Virgo Virgs and protect me as I channel the messages here. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. The, the, the tea is hot in these readings, man. I'm telling you. This is like, I don't, y'all have warm me y'all, but let's see. Well, let's see what's going on here, Virgo. What are the messages here for Virgo Birds? Okay. Judgment in reverse. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Four of Wands in reverse. Aries, Venus, okay, and the Magician. Virgo, Gemini, could be dealing with another one. Ten of Wands and a Death Card. <clears throat> somebody could have a deadly disease, I just heard. Or somebody, or this could just be you releasing and letting go of something. Okay, you could be going through a transformation, but somebody here could be sick, okay? Oh, child. But um, there could be a whole community or a whole family under judgment here. There could be a lot of like um, gossiping and false accusations about you in a community. Or this could be a family member that did this to you. But people are getting some really bad karma. Okay, I feel like you're, you're standing in your power. You're manifesting. I feel like you are just this powerhouse right now. It's like you have the Midas touch. Can't no gossip or can't nothing touch you. Just period. So I don't know. I mean, because this is a lot of malicious gossip. Um, <clears throat> um, people that have not learned their karmic lessons, okay, people that don't want to take accountability for shit, I feel like shit is hitting the fan, okay, somebody's bad karma could be the fact that they about to lose a home, or okay, or this could be like losing a family member, my condolences, I don't know who's getting hit uh, with karma, but my condolences, um, <clears throat> Mm, something is not celebratory for somebody. There's a dysfunctional family dynamic, or I feel like maybe this is a community. But let's see though. <laughs> this is this could be a community that does magic. The tower in reverse. Mm. <laughs> Aries, Scorpio here. King of Wands, child. This King of Wands person, man. Hmm. Let's see what else. It's a lot of shape shifting that be going on here. Sagittarius Moon here with the Nine of Wands. We got Leo here with the King of Wands. Leo again, the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, the. Hmm. So some somebody is trying to avoid some sort of loss here. And this is about some sort of gossip that's trying to be covered up. People are trying to cover their tracks with whatever this is, bitch. It's coming out in every reading. and every reading, there's bits and pieces. I would advise you to watch every last one. <laughs> I know I would. Every last, every last reading that I've done between yesterday and today. And y'all know I do it like every other day. I try to anyways. Or every two days if I really need a break or something. But, um, let's see. Um... There's been some sort of ongoing battle here with the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're battling something. Okay, Nine of Wands with the Magician. Okay, the Hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like you're battling something here. Something is just ongoing. Or somebody keeps trying to battle you here for power and respect or something like that in the community. It's this King of Wands, possibly, since they're under the Four of Wands. This could be somebody in your family or you have a broken relationship with. 
This could be a contract here in the spirit room that's broken between you and this person. This could be a spiritual spouse. But let's see, child. King of Wands again. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, yeah, spiritual spouse. <laughs> this person here, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, child. You can have a child with this person. I know y'all like, damn, why, Lord? <laughs> but... But what's the uh I'm not saying damn obviously about your child you love your child but you know children do be a product of their damn parents what's the judgment in reverse nine of wands again what's the judgment in reverse with the nine of wands somebody getting tired ten of swords see what i'm saying gemini energy <clears throat> Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, Gemini Sun. You got Sagittarius Moon here, heavy. You've been do you've been going through a lot of spiritual war warfare here, Virgo. Three, two, three, and it's been a Virgo doing this shit too. It's been a Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo Leo Cusper that's been doing this shit to you. Okay, you got Virgo in your chart too. Sun Moon Rising. It's another Virgo in the collective that's pissing me the fuck off. Okay, with these antics. Very nasty individual. But, um, so the judgment in reverse, yeah, you know, there's been a lot going on here with a lot of spell work. Somebody has been gossiping, starting lies. Like, really, this person here has ran your name through the mud. When I say a lot of false, like, somebody has really said a lot of bad things about you. They have, and this is a form of black magic. I mean, they could be conjuring up shit, too. But I'm saying, like, um. There's definitely a betrayal that somebody is trying really hard to avoid having to deal with. They keep running from it. They're trying to avoid a loss. I feel like you've also averted some sort of tower here. You keep missing every tower they keep trying to bring, every chaotic mess or whatever this is they try to stir up here. You keep ducking and dodging it every single time. It's like they battling you and they won't stop. What's the Ten of Swords? Three of Swords. Somebody could be getting hurt. Somebody judgment could actually be them passing away. I ain't gonna lie. They on their last stand, their last straw. And I feel like they, they ain't got shit to lose now. So they like, fuck it, I'm gonna go out with a bang. <clears throat> I'm be like, you know, I ain't got shit to lose. If I lose my life, somebody here, I'm hearing somebody say, well, I want to die anyway. Ooh, we. Oui. Somebody here could be suicidal, trigger warning. Because I know some people that watch my channel have been. Y'all just overcame it. So trigger warning. But somebody here has lost their way. What's the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords? If somebody here betrays you, they stabbed you in the back, they really broke your heart. Okay, this could be an ex here that's heartbroken too. Like, it's, it's, you see this black shit on their heart? They just are so, they're so miserable. What's the Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords? It's going to have a Libra Saturn. Somebody here feeds off of your pain. Yeah, the eight of wands. It's been a lot of talk. A lot of talking about how you what? How you broke their heart or how you did. You ain't did nothing to this bitch. This person, they're just a loser. They don't want to take accountability for nothing. Um. So yeah, somebody here did something out of spite. Three of swords with the eight of wands. They decided to take sudden action to talk about you really badly. Gossip about you. They stabbed you in the back. I feel like this person here initiated some sort of heartbreak for you too. They, they, this shit keep coming out. They fucking lied to a community of people or they got you involved in some short, sort of, they keep coming out. This cult, this coven thing is coming out again because I'm, I'm putting pieces of the story together. That's why I say watch every reading. Somebody here has caused a lot of pain <laughs> and you you came out on top every time. The judgment with this, the the uh, strength card, you just, you just overcame every obstacle they threw at you every time. Every time. No complaining, no nothing. You just learn the lessons. What's the nine of wands? The 
with this bitch. What'd I say? What did I tell you? Like, this King of Wands person, the Tower, the Five of Wands. Somebody is just really fucking bitter. This King of Wands is somebody that's really fucking bitter, really. They look like a leader to a community of people, or they lead a community. They lead a pack of people, and they just follow behind like little rag dolls, little minions. They so fucking stupid. Very dumb. You know what I'm getting to? There could be two different King of Wands here. One of these King of Wands, the contract is broken with them because they sold their soul. Okay, this King of Wands in reverse, they already been a warlock. Somebody already sold their soul. They've been sold their soul. They already, they've been fucked up. But this King of Wands right here, I'm getting like a different energy possibly. They have a dysfunctional family that they have a dysfunctional community or family dynamic that's involved with this King of Wands. It's all connecting. I keep getting that. All of it connects. We're gonna see when this when I get down here with this King of Wands. Because this could be just a shape shifting asshole. But um, what's the um somebody has been trying to hide behind someone else and now they their true their true selves are showing. The culprit behind all of this shit is showing. So let's give me what's this King of Wands in reverse? Very bitter, very controlling, abusive person. What's this uh King of Wands in reverse right there? This person could be really reckless sexually. Mm, look at this hoe. Yeah, causing hella setbacks, delays. Okay, just on your path, on your journey. This could be like uh opposing forces, a lot of things being postponed and just delayed for you that it was like that but now they're getting ready to experience what they did they're getting ready to go back on them 10 times harder for some of you they might even lose their life they know their judgment is bad okay they're trying to avoid dealing with it but it's gonna come back on their ass real hard it's gonna hit them where it hurts <clears throat> a lot of changes that are unwelcomed by this person this person getting their ass whooped so everything that they did to you is going to go back and let's see how they can actually withstand this. Because you you battled this person and you took your power back. This is you. Nine of Wands, the magician, that's you. You came out victorious in the situation here. You've mastered something about yourself. This is them falling apart because they're a loser. They thought they was better than you or they thought that they was going to be, you was going to be weak or something like that. Look at them in reverse. They're the weak one. They're weak as fuck. Very, very much so weak and a loser. And they still trying to battle you, even with all this bad karma that's getting ready to hit their ass. <laughs> this person here, they done lost their damn mind. I can't wait till they just done with. I'm tired of see seeing this bitch. Judgment Day is coming, though. What's the Four of Wands in reverse? The Everything is Fine card, yeah. What's the Four of Wands in reverse with the Everything is Fine? The Fool. Aquarius. You can have Aquarius in your chart. Or Gemini. Or you could be dealing with one. <laughs> so, this is you breaking free. This is you liberating yourself and going towards a new beginning. There's a contract here that's broken. you broken some sort of contract here. And Spirit is telling you everything is fine. Everything is okay. You didn't miss out on anything. You didn't lose anything. Everything happened in divine timing. I feel like you did two jobs in one is what I'm hearing. You blew up a lot in one like task or something that you did. You really um helped spirit help the world. <laughs> like you did something. All of this shit here connects, man. I'm I'm telling you, this is like a major connection with your warlock ex, whoever this King of Wands ass bitch is in reverse over here. And there's another King of Wands kind of like energy that you had a connection to that's with a dark witch as well. Or there's some sort of cult or coven that your ex got into. It's like, you know this person, they know this. It's like, everybody knows everybody. The, the only person that don't know that knows everybody is you. You don't know that these people have a connection. I feel like you're finding out though. What's the what's everything is fine here? Yeah, because you're still moving forward. There's still growth. There's still still expansion. Somebody could be an Aries sun, 
Okay, so this is you moving forward, growing, expanding. Um, your sense of foresight is getting stronger here. You know what you want. You're confident. You're self-assured. This is why everything is fine because you've passed your test. You've grown. There's nothing that some nobody stopped you from doing anything like they thought they was. What's the fool? And the two of pentacles. Yeah, so that's that's you coming into balance. So this is you adapting to, to the changes that are happening here, going with the flow, um, removing yourself from anything that's not working out for you in order to come into a real union. <laughs> you got four you guys should be seeing four four four. Yeah, child, it's been coming out. This this is so strong. Definitely go watch Scorpio. I explain this whole twin flame thing in Scorpio's reading. I don't want to keep doing it. Like it's it's draining the fuck out of me. Mm -hmm, okay, like seriously. So spirit is telling you everything is fine because like I said, this King of Wands is giving me a different energy. This one here versus that one. They were both catalysts, but I feel like you have a catalyst twin. For some of you, go on my community tab and look up what a catalyst twin is. Okay, if it, you don't relate to it, if you don't believe in it, then shut the fuck up. Don't come on my channel talking shit. There's no such thing as a, your journey is not like everybody else's. Remember, 333 on the clock. You could be seeing those numbers. I don't want to hear all that. If I can help somebody that's... If we can relate, then I want to help. So go on my community tab and see if you can see if you're, you know what I'm saying? Your intuition, whatever you've been thinking is matching up with what I'm trying to show you. Okay. But um, the Two of Pentacles talks about, yeah, flexibility, adapting. So you decided to surrender and just let something go. You liberated yourself from something. And this was a community of people that was doing bad anyway. This, this King of Wands has been connected to a community that your ex is connected to, just period. That's what I'm saying. This is why you needed to release this person. Because I don't feel like this King of Wands is bad, but they're a catalyst to your growth too, just like this karmic. But they're karmic. This catalyst twin is not. I feel like they were supposed to awaken to something that they didn't do. They didn't pass a twin flame test or something. Or maybe they did. Hopefully they did. Please, Lord. If they are twin if they're if they're on a twin flame journey, they could be on a twin flame journey too, but they're not your your actual twin. Your twin is different from this catalyst twin here. They're two different people. But your ex did something to, they, they know this community that this, that this Catalyst Twin knows for some of you. That's the best way I can explain it. Yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like that's where you're headed to, towards your actual Divine Masculine. What's this, uh, the Magician? The Queen of Cups. What's the Magician with the Queen of Cups? Cancer. Five of Cups. So somebody here is sad. Somebody could have a Scorpio Mars here. Yeah, because you're emotionally balanced. You're you have emotional control here. You um have emotional maturity. Your heart is open. You're balanced. You're compassionate. You're still caring after everything you've been through. After all this battle, you still have a strong heart. You're too strong. Mentally and emotionally, you're too strong. I don't even know why this person even tried it. You learned your lessons here. I feel like you've been on a very emotional journey. So something could have to do with um you healing your heart chakra. It could be all your chakras shit. But something about your emotions had to be balanced. You had to learn a deep lesson about something about your, your emotions. Because when the Queen of Cups is in reverse, this could talk about trust issues, overextending. So you could have, a, could have had abandonment wounds, abandonment issues that needed to be healed. A lot of maybe disappointments from your past. Okay, what's the Queen of Cups? You could definitely be a healer, a psychic, an empath, very intuitive, yeah. The Ten of Wands. Some of you guys needed to learn how to delegate tasks. You were taking on everybody else's dead weight or burdens or whatever this is. Or somebody here was... What's the uh the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Wands? Someone could have a Sag Saturn. Got Gemini Sun here. Somebody could be a Cancer Gemini Cuss. Yeah, you were being attacked left and right, child. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Um, so the Knight of Swords here, this talks about big changes or seizing an opportunity. So you seize an opportunity to release and let go. There's something that you learned about discipline, self-control, four of pentacles, in order for you to get this ten of pentacles and to level up spiritually is what I feel. So I feel like you're releasing or you walked away from something that helped you ascend and i feel like that was a final straw you ascended and that's it you're you've ascended to the point where you're now in union with yourself that's just what it is 
your manifesting power is strong right now uh this talks about you being resourceful you're you have a a strong ability a strong manifesting ability you could be a psychic like very psychic okay i don't know i just feel like you're leveling up on your journey you're powering up everything that they took from you you're getting it back tenfold so what's the five of cups so now somebody's sad or they in regret because what they lost yeah and you're moving forward this is why somebody here just been sad the whole fucking time you'd level up every time you'll be guided out of some shit every time and nothing will happen to you like how they think is it's going to happen <laughs> and they just be sad every single every single level up they sad about something it's ridiculous they should have left you the fuck alone they look like a fucking fool here so there is a certain part on your journey that made you sad something that you like had to leave it disappointed you but it taught you what it needed to teach you at that time so now you have your power back and you're in manifestation mode you won this battle without you possibly even knowing but that's what happens when you have a genuine pure heart it's just like you move how you're supposed to move and certain things just certain good things just happen to you yeah the magician and the devil you were just experiencing like magic going through a lot of spiritual warfare it's just like yeah look at that shit the magician the devil and the hierophant the magician, the devil, and the hierophant. Isn't that a cult? I mean, to me, I don't know. If if, if any other regions are on here, you know, let me know. <laughs> like, that's what it looked like to me. Okay. Definitely a lot of spiritual warfare. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the damn Queen of Swords. It's this cult, this coven. And whoever was in and out, it's this person that's in and out. I feel like it was your catalyst twin. It was, your, it was this King of Wands here that was in and out. They were back and forth with you. I don't know, not realizing that they were in some cult or coven or like that. The same cult and coven that your ex got into. It's, it's, it's blinking up together, I'm telling you. Mm. And uh, Scorpio's reading something about same sex came out. These people could be sleeping with each other. Obviously, this could be a sex cult or whatever the fuck. But these people, they all sleep with each other. What's uh, the tower in reverse? The sun. Yeah, it's getting exposed. It's inevitable. Something is inevitably supposed to come out. It is going to. Leo energy. A lot of Leo here. What's the tower in reverse with the sun? Yeah. <laughs> Four swords. They stress as hell. <clears throat> Libra, Jupiter, and the sun. So I feel like you found peace, though, with the four swords in the sun. I feel like you're happy as fuck. You're not worried about shit. Like, all this shit is going on and you don't even know about it. That's how much you're protected. That's what I'm saying. You've been protected from so much. God is so powerful. Mm. Mm -mm. Somebody thought they could play God. The devil. I mean, <laughs> the devil was once an angel. They just abused their power. Bitch, you're not stronger than God. I don't give a fuck if you turn dark or, or not. <laughs> like, the devil gets taken out all the time. Like, they can't even beat an angel. Uh, like, and the devil cannot beat no angel. So, but um, the son with the four swords. Yeah, I feel like you found peace. This is you healing. You've healed your inner child. This is like you creating a sanctuary. You made peace with a lot of things here. Somebody here stressed though. What's the, what's the four swords? Somebody here thinking or contemplating or some of you guys through your dream state, you could be seeing uh, these people get exposed if you're paying attention. So maybe you need a dream journal, write everything down. Something could be getting exposed about some sort of gossip or something like that in your dream state as you're sleeping or resting. What's the four swords? You're going to get knowledge about this one way or the other the eight of cups yeah you see the bigger picture of something what's the four swords with the eight of cups tower again upright <laughs> mm. so a certain tower happened happened already and you walking, you walking away 
and going into solitude or some sort of healing thing or whatever bring you a lot of peace and tranquility. So there's something here blew up. Somebody here really thought that something that they did was going to cause you to give up on yourself. It didn't. It's something in, re in relation to this King of Wands in reverse. They did it. That's the culprit. That's that's the person that's behind the scenes. It's karmic masculine. They did that. That by waging some sort of warfare on your ass. And you just walked away. And you learned and you healed from it. So now they're trying to avoid something from coming out. You avoided a tower. With the tower in reverse, you averted a tower here. You avoided something from happening to you by walking away like your intuition told you to walk away or whatever. Just in the right amount of time. So. This is divine intervention. Your spirit team, I'm telling you, somebody is so protected. It's just amazing to me. <laughs> okay. What's the sun? So now somebody confused at how you escape something. What's the sun? This is a very nasty person, child. They, their days are cut short for sure, though. For trying to take you out, oh boy, are their days cut short. And I don't wish death on nobody, but baby, this some heavy, this is some dark scheming, manipulation, like magic. This is some heavy shit here. They getting ready to get it. What's the sun? <laughs> What's the sun? 343 on the clock. The Queen of Pentacles, yeah, this is you deciding to stay optimistic, stay positive. You still, even though you've been hurt and been probably brung down to your lowest, you still were welcoming, nurturing, and nur I said nurturing, nurturing and um, caring. You still were inviting, you still let spirit guide you, you still didn't give up on yourself like they thought that you was. What's the sun with the Queen of Pentacles? Definitely, I feel like somebody is seeing who you are now, too. You could be a healer. What's the sun with the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, look at this bitch right here. This King of Cups in reverse. Is this person here? They didn't lost their damn mind. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is somebody, right? Like I said, they're in connection here. Okay, this King of Cups in reverse, first of all, this could be like somebody cheating with a married man or a married woman, right? This King of Cups is a cheater. This person is, their their psyche is blocked. This person is very miserable. They're bored in their life. Somebody here, this person could, they, I mean, they could be ruthless, but this, with the energy that I'm getting off of this person is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Okay. You were committed to waiting on this person while they were married. I feel like this person is married. The Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse, but they were cheating. So they 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 left their relationship to probably cheat with you. King of Cups is in reverse with the Queen of Cups here. Okay. So there's a connection there between you and this person. I'm getting a lot. Okay. This this King of Cups right here in reverse could be married already. And that's what's being exposed to you. They're married already. They're with somebody else. And that's what somebody don't want to come out because whoever they're married to is in on something with an ex of yours. I'm also getting this, maybe this King of Wands and this King of Cups is in reverse. They, they're both the same people. This could be some sort of like spiritual spouse of yours. It's some sort of dark entity that you're married to in the spirit. Because you could be a white witch here. This is definitely a warlock energy right here that wants to stay a counterpart to you but you're trying to you're in this lifetime you're pure i don't know if in a past life you were married to them or what this was but in this lifetime your your life has changed bitch let it go <laughs> like i don't know but um let me see what's the queen of pentacles right here who does queen of pentacles nine of swords There could be two masculines that's just that's sleeping with each other, bro. Like somebody here is gay. They're on a down low. Nothing wrong with gay, but I'm saying somebody's on the down low. What's the uh, Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords? Nine of Cups here. Yeah, so somebody here got with someone for fame, recognition, for comfortability. Somebody here settled, basically. Sometimes when I see the Nine of Cups paired with other things that's like this, somebody here just settled. They're not fulfilled. They get fulfillment out of other people. So either this is somebody to see you or this is uh, this other person that was married that used you at some point in your journey. I don't know. But 
there's like stability and security somewhere else. Somebody's just not fulfilled. They will never be fulfilled. Somebody could get sexual satisfaction. Okay, this King of Cups in Reverse was trying to get some sort of sexual satisfaction out of you. And that's what's being exposed. Like you you walked away from this person because you're not going to keep being used as a rebound. If you knew about that, I feel like you would have been left. But somebody here, they weren't telling you the whole truth about something. Okay. And so I just feel like you got fed up and you walked away. And this is what, this is the tower that you avoided. Because let's see, what's the King of Cups right here? In reverse. Somebody wants like fame, recognition, rewards. It, it, you, you could have some sort of status here. You could be seen in a public eye or something. Like you live a very comfortable life. Okay. Somebody here did something for somebody else. Or it's a lot that I'm getting. You found wish fulfillment in someone else, but they were already married. But they, whoever they were married to, they they were having sex with this person. It wasn't nothing serious. Like they, they cheat. Somebody here's a cheater. King, of, what's the king of cups in reverse? <laughs> but to keep this person satisfied, yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody put you in a third party. There's a four of wands. Yeah, somebody married already. This person is already fucking married. What's the king of cups in reverse with the three of pentacles? Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, somebody here was doing work. I feel like somebody was honestly doing work on this person. Okay. And this has something to do with this uh this cult or this group of hoes up here. This could also just be a situation where somebody is emotionally unavailable. Okay, like this could be a situation, like this could be something just random that you you dated somebody or something like that that was emotionally unavailable to you. And you just like, you had enough, like you walked away, a tower happened, you just had enough of dealing with the emotional abuse from different people, like, like the same spirit in a different body. So you just decided to pull back your energy and take care of you. And that's what broke this hex, this curse, whatever the fuck this is, that your karmic ex... And this other, whatever the shit is right here, then then had over you for a long time. You 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 got done with it. You broke it. Okay, it's something here that broke. But that three of pentacles, seven of cups, king of cups in reverse, like something was always off about somebody. What's what's this uh three of pentacles right here? Because the three of pentacles, I mean, this could talk about learning from your past mistakes, and I feel like you did that. Obviously, that's why you're here today, and this you were getting ready to get blessed with something else. But the Three of Pentacles talks about collaboration, partnering up, teamwork. A group of people that are very skilled at causing illusions to keep this King of Cups in reverse, depressed, sad, or, or fucked up. Wow. That's what I'm saying. This King of Wands in reverse, it has something to do with it. What's the, uh, what's Three of Pentacles? Somebody here has been stuck in an illusion. Somebody's psyche is blocked. What's the King of Cups? In, what's the Three of Pentacles right here? The lovers. Yeah, somebody somebody was connecting sexually with somebody else. What's the King of Cups in reverse with the Three of Pentacles and the lovers? The King of Swords. <clears throat> mm. This person could have been very cold towards you, but they came in and out for sex. It's something like that that happened, but the tower is in reverse because somebody don't want you to know that it's them. Somebody just also refuses to change, but I feel like somebody is trying to hide something. They're trying to avoid something from coming out about their ass. It's coming out, bitch. It's coming out day by day, little by little. That's why these readings are so fucking long now. Every last reading I've done has been so long and detailed. I feel like Archangel Michael stepped in to protect you from something because these... Three of Pentacles and the lovers. There's lovers here and, and people having sex with each other. People that you know having sex with each other. Your ex is involved in this cult, this coven. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. Like, just shit that you keep, like... What's the Seven of Cups right here, man? The Empress. You gotta confuse you. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> so what I'm picking up to this king of swords right here this this king of swords and the lovers this could be a, a soulmate that you met along your journey right they, they could be aquarius gemini libra they are connected like i said to people that your ex knows it's called this coven it's probably a group of women too okay a group of witches dark witches okay whatever but um this person here was very nonchalant very cold towards you they were emotionally unavailable because they could have been under attack i feel like whoever they were with is also shape-shifting just like your warlock ex is they're a witch but this king this king of swords they don't know about it this king of cups and reverse king of swords they don't know or they didn't know mm. so now i'm getting something different child what the fuck this was all a plan to confuse you here this king of swords is quiet because they know about this connection between you and your ex. They're very, they're in cahoots with this person. That's what it feels like to me. They're working side by side together. Or this King of Cups in reverse, your warlock ex is sleeping with an ex of this uh, catalyst twin of yours. It's, there's a connection there one way or the fucking other, okay? It's, it's, it's to confuse you. This was all a plot, a scheme, a plan. Like... It's all a plot to confuse the fuck out of you about who's who and what's what, where you need to be at on your journey, who's who and where you're supposed to go and whatever else. Somebody don't want you to see that, though, with the tower in reverse. It's inevit inevitably going to come out, but somebody is trying to really avoid a loss here. They're trying to really avoid something from coming out, just period. They're all in connection with each other, though. Whether this other person, they know about it or not, like, that's the part that I feel like is missing. Because they're so quiet. Somebody is so nonchalant like they don't know shit. And it's all because your your ex here, they have strong feelings for you still. Or they want to still be connected to you. So they, they came up with this plot. Somehow, some way, they know about somebody that you met along your path. That spirit introduced you to. Because you needed to learn something from them or something like that. And they set this person up to um, keep you stuck in a way. Somebody got set up here, you and probably this other person, but I don't know. It feels like kind of they see the truth now, but they're not saying anything or they knew the truth the, the, uh, the whole time and didn't say anything. I don't know, but I feel like somebody here. It's a lot of people here that are broke too. People are working together because they need money. So like somebody here, child, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. There could be a connection, too, that's coming in that's protected. Okay, Archangel Michael is protecting you. I feel like you're definitely in balance with yourself now, but you could be coming into union with somebody. And this King of Cups in reverse, they just tripping. Like, what's who this King of Wands right here? Mm -mm -mm. Strength card. Leo strong. Who this King of Wands with the strength card? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is you. Okay, we got the Queen to the King of Swords. I feel like you're continuously asking this King of Swords what is going on or why something is not working between y'all two or wasn't in the past. And they they just too prideful. They're egotistical. They're not telling you anything. Okay. Or this King of Wands is the same King of Wands up here. They're just shape-shifting. They look like a leader to their community. They are. They could be in a, in a cult or coven or the leader of something. <laughs> like what, whatever the fuck. But I feel like um, you had to really get over this person. You had to overcome a challenge when it came down to this King of Wands right here. It has something to do with your ego or something. But I feel like you're asking this person something. You, you, you're you questioning something with the Queen, Queen of Swords like that. But they're nonchalant about it. They're quiet about it. Their pride, their ego, it won't let them, It's for, for whatever reason, they won't tell you the truth. What's the Queen of Swords? It's, it's because they're probably in a secret society. That's what I'm saying. Like, they all are linked to each other. And somebody here could be getting extorted or blackmailed. they like, well, if you tell, I'm going to da-da-da-da-da, and you're going to die. Or you know how they be in a secret society. But whatever. It's like, what's the Queen of Swords with the Five of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles.
So you could be asking this person, like, am I left out in the cold because you're married? Do you have a family? Okay. And they're just quiet. Like, I feel like there's something, too, where you had to learn something about your abandonment wounds. It was a generational curse or something that had to be broken off of you here. It has something to do with you feeling abandoned or neglected by a parent. Maybe your mom or your daddy. I don't know. Some sort of generational curse is ancestral. It's it's like your bloodline had to be cleared of this trauma so that that way the next generation could be built. This legacy could be built or whatever. Yeah, you had to clear out karma, the death card, and the justice. You had to clear out something. What's the death card? I mean, not the death card. What the fuck? What's the strong card right here? the star Aquarius yeah it's something what's the strong card with the star the ace of swords That's why I feel like these two people are different. This King of Wands up here is a warlock, your ex or whatever the fuck, Divine Feminine. Or it could be a dark witch, whatever. I just see two masculines in reverse. Then we got this King of Wands right here that's upright. <clears throat> this person is really narcissistic. Damn, what the fuck? <clears throat> Some sort of narcissistic um, abuse here is what I'm hearing too. <clears throat> you had to really leave somebody out on the cold here in order for you to get whatever this Ten of Pentacles is. You had to clear something major off your bloodline. <clears throat> like something has really affected you for a long time. You had to go through a major, like a, a major healing process. Ace of Swords with the Star, that's like a breakthrough. Because you've healed or, or you were able to regroup or recoup or revitalize you know, re re um <clears throat> relearn yourself. You need to gain some sort of like wisdom here and overcome some sort of like major obstacle or challenge. And I feel like um this King of Wands right here that's upright. They were um like I said a catalyst. The King of Wands, if you look up the definition, just ask Google. Is is the King of Wands? Does the King of Wands mean catalyst? And see what it say. But um This King of Wands here, they gave you some sort of inspiration to um, grow and heal. And they helped you release yourself from some sort of karmic contract. They they have a very special like mission. I don't know, like, because what I call it is a catalyst twin. Okay, because I had one on my journey before I came into union with my twin flame. So that could be the case for some of you. <clears throat> I feel like you're understanding who this person is to you now. But you definitely had to cut this person off, though, because they were in their ego. They sh they mirror back to you your shadow side. Something to hear that you didn't heal yet needed to be seen. You, just, you needed to meet this person so they could show you. It is all orchestrated. Somebody here was trying to just slow you down. This King of Wands up here in reverse. Like, I don't know, but... Hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> What's this, um... This King of Wands could be that King of Wands. I feel like you really had to confront this person spiritually. They were battling you in the spirit. They were. They were. What's the Nine of Wands here? What's this one? Somebody really was trying it with you. Page of Swords. What's the Nine of Wands with the Page of Swords? 
Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, yeah, a bad investment, bitch. A real bad investment. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is <clears throat> somebody here not reading the fine print. They must not. They, they don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they don't know who the fuck you are yet. Seven of Wands and the devil. Just, just, I mean, what the fuck? They lost as hell. They don't know who the fuck you are. Hmm. So they're watching, they spying. They still want to go at it. Nine of Wands, even though they at the lat, like, bitch, give it up. Somebody here, somebody here sees that you're so resilient. You're so strong. You are so resilient here. It's like, you, you just don't back down. It's like, yeah, well, stop trying to compete with me, you fucking clown. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Nine of Wands, I feel like you're defensive, you're guarded. Page of Swords, this could be somebody here watching you because they know that they made a bad investment somewhere. They made, they, they, they made a wrong turn somewhere. What the fuck? Seven of Pentacles in reverse is... Somebody here didn't review something or something here didn't grow or it's not nurtured or or you took your you took your you feel like you wasted your time. You took your time and your energy out of something after realizing what somebody is or what somebody is doing. What's the page of swords? Yeah, seven of swords. Yeah, somebody just keeps somebody wants to speak out about some sort of injustice. They do. With the page of swords and the seven of swords, somebody is planning and strategizing or they just watching you or whatever. They still trying to compete or whatever the fuck this is. What's the page of swords, seven of swords? Someone's having Aquarius moon. Four of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is still holding on to you for dear life, I bet. And they're trying to win at all costs and they're still getting rejected because you manifested your emperor. <laughs> your divine masculine, your actual counterpart, bitch. Nothing can get pet. Nothing can get through this connection. It's too protected. So whatever somebody got going on, oh well. Sh shove it where the sun don't fucking shine, bitch. It don't even matter no more. Feel like you're very guarded you're very defensive you have your guards up you don't trust none, none of these people on this board besides your divine masculine that's it your real one not this catalyst twin or this fucking karmic soulmate of yours none of them it's just like you can't trust nobody <laughs> not in this spread so i don't you know i don't know but somebody here is watching you they spying they i don't know <laughs> this person is tripping whatever the fuck what's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's still trying to control you or still holding on to something or the truth. Because somebody here, they know something about a lie. That's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like everybody's connected here. They know something about something that was false here. Definitely about this false gossip and these rumors that I feel like this cult of witches and warlocks know about. Your ex is included in it. They all know about it. And I feel like this masculine here, they know something. I feel like they want to speak up about it, but they're scared. And it's like, well, I mean, what are you scared of at this point? <laughs> like we we know what the vibes are man what's the seven of pentacles in reverse seven of wands what's seven of pentacles in reverse with the seven of wands the justice so yeah that they're blocked somebody here sees that it's a bad investment you're protected somebody here's understanding who the fuck you are your nature is getting exposed the sun with the queen of pentacles you could be like i said a white witch like somebody here thought i don't know what they thought you was or I really don't understand, but <clears throat> the justice with the seven of wands, there's truth, there's clarity, there is balance, and you have your defenses up now, your guards are up, you're prepared, bitch, to fucking send, return to sender, just period. Somebody here knows that they, they, they took a wrong turn here with trying to block you from clearing out your karmic debt or balance your life out properly. Like somebody here really tried to keep you stuck. There could be a restraining order here from a court case. Like somebody has no way of reaching out to you no more because it's like, well, you probably didn't call the police on their stupid ass and everything. <laughs> well, I don't know. Who shall? Let's see. Let me see something. <clears throat> I feel like this person here went towards your ex. It's whoever the fuck this other masculine is. I don't know if they're your catalyst twin or what, but they got caught up in something too, though. This person here, um, I don't know, but 
they seen that whatever they didn't join in on, they it, it, they took a wrong turn with it. Or if this is your karmic masculine. They got involved with this shit and they should have just minded their fucking business and let your journey just go on how it's supposed to go. Like they see that that's like a bad, it was a bad idea. But the page of swords, somebody here wants to speak up about some sort of injustice though. But they know that you're guarded. You're defensive. <laughs> And they holding on to a big ass secret that they made the wrong investment or something. What else? You're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah, I bet. I'm not going anywhere, bitch. I bet you are. Yeah, drug or alcohol addiction. This person here, they need to get the fuck. This warlock, they just they just have been following you the whole time, the whole time, seeing how they can sabotage and everything. I bet you're going to get the fuck up out of here today, though, bitch. I bet you that's whether they spirit got to take you out or what. Yeah, fatal attraction. If I can't have you, no one can mentality. That's what I'm saying. Child, this person here, they scary. Intentionally holding back, lack of effort, waiting for you to take action. So that's in reverse. Yeah, look, bisexual or same sex interest. This person here is into the same sex. Somebody is bisexual or gay or and they on the down low. Um, let's see what else. So intentionally holding back is in reverse. Okay, bad temper, angle, anger. I say angle. <laughs> anger issues and unfaithful cheater. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is a cheater. Hmm. <clears throat> this person here is abusive narcissistic they get mad they do what the fuck they want to do like even if they are married but they providing something for probably this karma a karmic feminine that they with so it's just like you know it's karmic feminine they accept them like that and that's fine it's like you won't though and <laughs> that's why they mad at you they're like well damn this bitch accepts me well yeah i'm not that bitch wrong bitch <laughs> wrong bitch like yeah somebody regrets doing spell work on you spell work involved somebody regrets doing spell work on your ass oh well bitch it's like you're not intentionally holding back anything it's like you really don't want to fuck with them no more and they don't they don't know how to accept that what else it's like this was never a game bitch never a fucking game I want you all to myself, sweet talker, manipulator, charmer, jealousy, envy, yeah. What's jealousy, envy? Possessive, desire to own or dominate, yeah, it's this other person that's possessive and got a mental disorder. It's this damn warlock here, it's all about them. It's all about you, bitch, you're getting exposed. What's sweet talker? Karma. Reaping what one has sown. So, you know, I feel like this warlock ex of yours here, Virgo, or whatever the fuck, they, um, they were jealous of a connection that you had with supposedly your twin flame. That was a catalyst twin. They, I don't know if they sent this person in to trick you or what this was, child. It feels like it, though. Or this catalyst twin of yours, they got caught up in something. I feel like either way, it was supposed to go that way, though, to teach you something. Or to help you grow spiritually. With all this spiritual warfare, I mean, you got to be a damn spiritual warfare worker. Like, you, that's what you do. <laughs> like, that's your job. That's your purpose. I don't know. To blow up these cults and covens and shit like that to expose them. That's Some of y'all, that's your purpose. So when I say you're extra protected, this is why. Somebody here getting bad karma for being a, a sweet talker and manipulator. What's sweet talker and manipulator? I've been trying to make you jealous. Mm. Jail time, past life connection, toxic love. <laughs> mm, what else? 411 on the clock. You guys could be seeing those numbers. I'm addicted to having sex with you. Yeah, somebody got a sex addiction. It says appearing nonchalant, pretending to be unbothered. Yeah, it's this king of swords. Whoever this bitch is, or this is this masculine shape-shifting. It's the same masculine shape-shifting time and time again. What else? 
legal issues. Yeah, they in trouble with spiritual law or they in trouble with the real law. One or the other. What's appearing nonchalant here? Baby, please don't go. What's appearing nonchalant? What the fuck? I refuse to let you be happy with anyone else. That's in reverse. Fake, jealous friends or family involved, influenced by people with ill intentions. That's what I'm saying. It's they, they family members. It's this King of Swords, whoever the Catalyst Twin is, right? They have a family or a community that are in a cult or a coven. They got this person fooled. They ain't got you fooled, though. <laughs> and this karmic masculine of yours, this warlock, is involved with this community. Some way they're connected. Because I feel like with the appearing nonchalant and I refuse to let you be happy with someone else in reverse, I feel like somebody genuinely they want to see you happy. The the whole point of their relation of the relationship with that particular person was to not stay there. It was to teach you something. So on a soul level, it's like some you already know what this is, or they already know what it is, or something like that. It's on a soul level though. This could be somebody telling this person, baby, please don't go. It's whoever this cult is. So there's, a, there's a karmic feminine here telling this person, you know, please don't leave. or whatever. They're also acting like they want to see this masculine happy. But little do both you and your person know or you and this catalyst twin know they're in cahoots with y'all exes that they know each other. That's what it feel like. I swear it feels like that. What's legal issues? There's like mutual friends or fan like it's 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 they all connect. Third party hiding secrets. What's um legal issues right here? I'm sorry, I know I messed things up. That's in reverse. So somebody here's in remorseful. They don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. What's I'm sorry. I mean, what's uh legal issues in reverse? Hiding secrets. Yeah, somebody here don't want to be seen. Child, what's I'm addicted to having sex with you? 414 on the clock. Reconcile recovery. Somebody here wants to reconcile with you. It's this fucking karmic soulmate. What's I'm addicted to having sex with you? Reconcile recovery. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Child, it never is, is it? Well, I ain't gonna say that, but most of the time it's not. <laughs> like, I don't know. <clears throat> Somebody could have a sex or a porn addiction, man. What else? False twin flame. Yeah, look, it fell over the catalyst twin. What'd I say? Like, they, the catalyst twin, false twin... Everybody, I mean, these names is kind of confusing, but I'm saying, like, that's not your real twin flame. That's a catalyst. For some of you, that's exactly what they are. Go look it up. Gold digger, this false twin flame, or this catalyst twin was in a relationship with a gold digger. Engaging in relationships for money instead of love. Watching, stalking, or spying. And whoever they're with is in a cult or a coven. It's a group of bitches that know your ex. Your, your ex here and signed a deal with these bitches to, to, to take you out while also trying to take out this catalyst twin of yours, possibly. <laughs> Child, I'm telling you, they all connected. All this for money or to stay with some I like I don't know. What else? Wandering eyes, searching for greener grass. Yeah, this is what they did. Search for greener grass. They got exactly what they wanted here. What else? Jail time and karmic. So somebody is stuck with a karmic here. Person or issue from a past life that is meant to teach a lesson. What I said. Well, I mean, that's a karmic anyways, but I'm saying somebody is stuck with a karmic in a karmic relationship. They're stuck there, but they got wandering eyes. It's this person that's watching you. They know damn well they got a, they, I feel like there's two masculines. They're one and the same. Both of them cheat on, they, they bitches. Okay. <laughs> like they both got a problem. Who's wandering eyes? Self-sabotage. Yeah, who's wandering eyes? Self-sabotage. They they fucked up this contract with you. I mean, it did what it's supposed to do. Yeah, spell work involved. Somebody here is unaware of some sort of spell work. It's this other mask, this catalyst twin. 
Like they refuse to see something. Like you try to warn their ass, you probably try to warn them and they self-sabotage this connection because spell work was involved coming from your ex and also their, their karmic ex. So now they stuck with the karmic. Well, I don't know. I guess just write me back, Virgo, and let me know if it resonated. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. All right. What a mess. But not a mess for you. I mean, the truth is coming out. You're getting what you need to move forward. You're getting the closure that you need or want. And just move on. Everybody's, I mean, nobody back here is worth your time anyway. The Catalyst Twin, they did what they wanted. Thanks. You know, your warlock, they did what the fuck they came to do. Thank you, bitch. Time is up. Move on. Thank you for serving your purpose in my life, you fucking clowns. Bye. Take you and your spell work and your dark witch bitches and go do, I guess, magic to be happier. Like, just don't do that shit on me no more. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Don't bring that shit over here because then you're going to get your ass beat again. It's just like, just leave it alone. And they all in this cult, this coven. So they're not saying shit. None of them are saying anything. I bet you ain't heard from none of this, none of these people about anything. Like they all quiet. All they do is watch you here and stalk you and then do spell work on you. Bunch of fucking losers. They're losers. So this is your reading. I hope that this resonated. The Queen of Cups, I'm looking at it. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in reverse. That could be a karmic couple. This karmic, this masculine here that's cheating and running around. This Queen of Cups could do magic on them. They could be a cancer. <laughs> I don't know, but um, this is your reading, Virgo. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.